But from an entertainment point of view, I think we need to do everything in our power to make sure that they are guests that over the next 10 years. Because they are they are incredibly entertaining. Like my Mercedes, my my Pico 504 is no longer a book. Is your Pico 504 is no longer a book. It's now a trash can for some people. Your your league one is past tense. If you ask my personal personal opinion, my own personal opinion, not a uh, consensus, my personal opinion, I think they are can do the job. Let's go back to David Moyes. <laughs> And when we see you, you started with Southgate. Southgate. Oh, oh, ah. In the playoffs, when someone that plays 25 30 minutes leaves the rotation and comes back, there's an adjustment. And if you watch that game three, by the by midway to the second quarter, the game was over because so I feel like even when we want to talk about your case. Need to agree that the Dallas Mavericks are coming into their proper self now, and it's one of the reasons why we are seeing the level of basketball they are playing. So, I think it's the fact that this is what they are, and also this is what they can do. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what we, all, we all know who that is. Okay, well, can, we move, can we move on for Barcelona now? We are not talking about Barcelona now. We are talking about La Liga. Is this not only about nothing? I don't understand. It's, it's Barcelona we are talking about, not La Liga. Because I like your optimism for either of next season. It's all well and good. But let next season come first. Do you get? Because now, there's no money. I, anyway, I think Guido Rodriguez is... A move on. You said you want to move on. Move wait. on. Wait. Just wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait. Dude. Before he joined, started the talk, he said, can we move on, Abby? Abi, Abi, I'm the only one that had that one. He said, Kawu. Oti Kawale. Let's move on. 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 Let's Actually, on a normal day, LMJ should be here to tell you thank you because I mean, you should be LMJ should be here so you can thank him. At least they didn't, you guys didn't falter, you didn't fall apart, you are still running after City in the title race. But LMJ is not here. I think it's the best opportunity for you to send your thanks to him that, ah, <laughs> thank you, thank you for being so bad. Thank you for I'm being a, so horrible. I, I'm not the first person to have won against the Manchester United this season. So <laughs> no, no, but you needed to win more important. Like you need to win. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. As much as yeah, that that is true. The, the, one thing I was just concerned about. A lot of Manu fans were like saying, "Oh, if they don't beat uh, my team by three to then Arsenal are not a serious team." And I'm like, like I said earlier in this podcast, like it's crunch time, man. It's not a case of like scoring as much goals. You also want to protect your your back. You want to, we want to protect your goalpost and all those things like that. So I'm happy with the win, to be honest. No matter how, like, if it, if it were just 1-0, it's good enough. The three points is the most important thing. And the fact that we are at least neck and neck with uh, Man City to the uh, final day. So, yeah, it was a good uh, result. But let's see how that goes in the long time. In the long run, I mean. Right. So let's get started. Um, guys, it's the end of our Nothing podcast. So all our listeners out there, thank you for being with us. Um, for some weird reason, we couldn't appear on air last week. Like um, flies, our members keep ha- kept ha- having different difficulties. Aki wanted to run this podcast alone last week, but I told him to keep his talent to himself. Like, I know how talented he is. He wanted to run all this by himself last week and just be the one to like give them your voice, your face, and everything. But what, what I don't know, I, I, I'm, 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 still, I'm still angry that you guys with the podcast thing would. Don't worry, we'll find a way to make it up to you. Um, Elementary mm-hmm. is absent. I don't I don't want to believe it's because of my United because, come on, he lost 1-0. On Monday, they, they beat them like thieves. So I don't think that's the reason why he's absent. <laughs> but <laughs> he lost just 1-0, so it's not the end of the world. Um, Kule is here, Bolish is here, as you guys can see. I think the best place to start is, before we even go to the topics of the day, I think the best place to start is... Wow. Because Elementary is not here to defend Ten Hag or reject him or criticize him. But if you look at like the future of my United now at this point, everything points to the fact that you hear pundits, different 
pundits different opinions so people come out and tell you that oh no the problem is bigger than ten hag like it comes from above they've been sacking managers you have to stick with him some are like my United have lost 14 games in the Premier League this season. 14. Like, out of 38, they've lost 14. That's more than one third of the games that they're supposed to play. And you're wondering, at some point, at some point, common sense needs to prevail and those in charge need to ask themselves that, okay, we've had injuries, yes, but every other team has had injuries, but they found a way to be competitive. Chelsea have had injuries, Newcastle have had injuries. At some point, we tell ourselves that, oh my God, maybe this is not the guy. Or... Do they need to tell themselves that okay, maybe this is the guy? Maybe you just come aside, you back him up, you give him a new contract. Because left to me, when that rumor of Bayern Munich started last week, I was convinced that his agent was lying. No, there was nothing anybody could have told me that for some weird reason Bayern wanted Eric Ten Hag as their manager. I'm like, is there they don't watch football, they don't know football. But I think the ball is in the court of the Man United hierarchy now to decide that okay, we're going to go with the guy, come hell or high water, around football or not. Will die on this cross, or we're not going ahead with him because if you are waiting for the FA Cup game against Man City, you have no chance. That's the, you cannot make a decision after that game. You have no chance, really. As not only is it that you have no chance, like even if they do, um, basing your entire season on one FA Cup final result is it makes completely no sense. Like not even just basing your entire future of your club based on one result has makes no sense, and it feels like. Um, Man are doing the opposite of what Bayern did because Bayern, Bayern announced Tuku's departure too early, and it feels like they don't have there's no coach waiting for them again. The only logical position is for them to go back and build Tuku that place. Stay. Um, United are at a point whereby if you're going to get rid of Ten Hag or, or do or do or back him up, do it now, like do it, like basically make that decision now. We don't want to wait. Like, if you say the structure of my United it needs to work, you don't want to come back and like two weeks to precede and be like, okay, this is our new manager now. Okay, we have finally found someone in. You cannot afford to do what Spurs did last summer because at least Spurs are coming from a completely different spot where United are now. And honestly, based on what you've seen over the past, I don't know, I mean, I don't know how I many months now. Ideally, the manager should go because. As you mentioned, the Crystal Palace game, you see that Crystal Palace game, the first and the second goals. The way the players were going towards United players and the way the United players were moving, you were like, you can tell that this team are not going to, to, to do anything defensively because the way the players were positioned was horrible. But from an entertainment point of view, I think we need to do everything in our power to make sure uh, they are against that job for the next 10 years because they are, <laughs> they are incredibly entertaining. Like, you don't know what to come this week. They can lose 5 0 to Luton, play 4 4 in Liverpool, everything goes. Like, it is proper. It is pure drama, like basically it's pure television. Like every episode is fantastic. The script writers are just doing whatever they like, and we are we are just getting whatever whatever we want to see. And as I think as for the Bayern um rumors, it, it could be the case that okay, because of he has worked with the Bayern second team before, and also Bayern are looking for my new managers. But um a lot of people have said they had the problem is not Ten Hag, but the problem is the personalities in the dressing room. If you cannot handle the personalities in my United dressing room and board, you cannot handle the one in Bayern. It's not possible. Like it is not. It's not possible. Like Flick has done it. He has failed. Ancelotti has done it. He has failed. Pep has done it. He has failed. Ten Hag is not going to be the one to do that and be like, oh yes, this heavy personality, this ceramics and of Oliver Kahn in the boardroom, the Romani guys, the Mullers and Kimmich. You can't do it. It's not possible. So, a United have to make a decision now, and frankly. Even ten. Sorry, himself. sorry for cutting you, Oli. Uh, Bolly, did you see that? Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw. Al, 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 Al Madrid. <laughs> Which Al Madrid? Al, Al Madrid in the building. <laughs> now why you no get light? Now why you no get light? <laughs> I just the enter house, so I need to set up a little bit. So that when I you set up, up please come back. Leave my podcast. <laughs> Please delete him, my beg. Allah <laughs> my Yeah, as I was saying, I'll say, up ten yard. Ten yard for five more years. United have to make a decision now. And they don't have to make any decision. I'm sorry, Kunle. They don't have to make any they don't have to make any decision. I'm sorry. I mean, I see there is no decision of the only the only <laughs> legitimate decision for United is signing Tayag for four more years. You have to give him British space. No, you have I to give Tayag. I didn't mean to be you have to give, they are very entertaining you press conference. You have to give the hand four more years to, to let him try out his skills and let him 
impose his techniques. Because if you don't want to lose him to Bayern, Bayern is about to snatch your manager. You don't want to lose your coach to Bayern. You need to keep your world-class manager. He was one of the best managers. He's wrong with Ajax was one of the best. You don't need to give him the right thing. Pay Barcelona one twenty million for Frankie De Jong. Get him for uh. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, bro. You need to know me. You have to watch the cook. I'm sorry. You cannot. You can. You have to. You have to give him the right squad. This is, Not that this you. is good. <laughs> I understand, I understand you'll be selling glass. You'll be selling glass to your club. So I understand your problem, you're broke. I know what's going on here. I know what's going on. You're not going to be in Champions League next year. The rate at which Barcelona is going now. I know you're broke. The rate at which Barcelona are going now. They need to onboard Barcelona on Airbnb so that people can just come and leave. For yeah. a few days, spend the night, 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 spend the Oh my god. Um, please, it's not it's again. not the facility that used to drive your legend away. That I said your gym rats was entering the gym and the uh, cockroaches were entering the gym. Theater of dream was at I your coach. I think I'm having you. Uh, your, your, your coach was, was having nightmare in your, in your theater of dream. Yes. You have to be dreaming your glass, was for 300 euros. <laughs> this was that was Jimmy. Rat and cockroaches were helping him to gym. He was like, ah, you know, Shelly, I came to gym, but Rat is jumping over the dumbbell. When you get dumbbell, rat is jumping. It's pretty, so it's pretty fall. It's pretty fall. Without the money, so I know my guy here in Lemo. You have money. Your gym is like rat uh, center. Your goat literally left at because least, at least they have money. They have money. It's not. It's not like Barca fans. They are not making a mockery of themselves on Twitter. Bringing up conspiracy theory. One was like it's the Caballeros Madrid. <laughs> no, be we say more. I don't know how to manage money now. <laughs> Is it is it the Spanish cabal? They, they run Madrid. That is why during Corona, they're the only club that is not affected. Oh god, they didn't spend. That is just simple. <laughs> it's it's economic. It's just it. simple. It. See, by the power. Are you a Madrid, Madrid, Madrid fan? Element, you cannot come late and come and scatter this podcast. That's a Madrid. You're not even a, you're not a Madrid that's, fan. That's that's the spice I bring to this podcast. If I'm not don't this come podcast, and scatter this podcast, you must be very careful. <laughs> I'm very sure. I'm very sure many of our fans they will start watching this podcast for like 28 minutes. Why? Because yes, I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> you know, you know when you cannot even you cannot even manage a club. A club you know what he's doing. You know what he's doing. You cannot manage it. Wow. We'll come back Can you even catch? We'll come back to him. We'll Can you even catch his school? We know what he's doing. We'll come back to him. Don't worry. <laughs> you, 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 you know, know what, what he's doing now. That's the funny first attack. You know, you know that. We will, not, we will not talk there's, about this team, but go ahead. There's, there's nothing. There's there's. This is not a tactics. This is not a strategy. This is not tactics. Me, tactics. Me. Tactics. At this point, at this point, whoever does not know the spiral that whoever does not know the spiral that Manu is going through is probably living under a rock. But there's a team that is always in denial. They will always tell you, hey, we want it. It's always really a key. If like we want the league, we are the defending champion. <laughs> we are the defending champion. <laughs> we want the league. Hey, when, when was the last time Arsenal won the league? Oga, come to the when league. Was the last time Manchester United won the league. Manchester United. When was the last time you won the league? <laughs> we, we, we won the league. What, we won you know the what league looked like? Do you know what league looked like? See, my 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 Mercedes, my my picture five hundred four is no longer a book. Is your PJ Five Hundred Four is no longer a book. It's now a trash camp for some people. Your your league one is past tense. <laughs> if if <laughs> United want, to win league, is no that, it's, it's if United United to win. Your, your point you don't make any points. You just uh, increase your volume. It's if United should win league last year, we don't go hear what. And the only reason why you're spiraling out of control now is because Chelsea. Chelsea is giving you from the back. Yeah, Arsenal control. is giving you from the wait, front. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait. See, I'm not giving from the league. I, I know Ooh, this, this, might, fall, this, might, this might come as a straight bullet, but I'm not delusional. If 
you, I'm not. I'm not in the camp of people that will be celebrating. What's the delusion about your team being in shambles. There's nothing delusion. That's it's a fast now. Your team is in shambles, but you fail to you you fail to accept the fact that you are going. I think you are going faster than Leicester City at this rate, Seth. Or Champions League to ready. Leicester City, <laughs> but I got the quarterfinal of the Champions League and I won the league last season. But you will not go with so. If we are going as fast as Leicester City, what are you going as fast as? You're asking me. I'm in the I final. Of the I mean, the I final. Go, 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 go. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm not wishy washy. It to make it look like. I'm not, I'm not wishy washy. It to make it look like it's an excellent season. This is not an excellent season. It's a terrible season. You are. You are having a terrible season. But what are you going to be from Twitter? The belle. Uh, the Dembele now, no be house here now, dude. Usman, Dembele, Usman, Dembele. You know the house, no be house in SFD. All of us the house together. The watch, we go watch out from house. But go my wola. Three of us will leave the both of you. You guys, I, 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 <laughs> this is this is comic relief, please. I, I love it. <laughs> it's the truth. Dembele is watching from home. You are watching from home. We are watching from home. Everybody is watching from home. Can we start the pod now, please? Yes, yes. No, he does not want us to, you know. He, he wants to quickly do first attack. Where are you running to now? <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> first attack. You see, Tonch edited his name to Alan Madrid. This man that is now... You see, 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 this is called a caption. It's called a caption. Never cousin. Never cousin. Have you? Go on. Um, um, to our uh, viewers out there, I have to apologize for LMJ and um. Why are you apologize? Is is creativity? I, I can only apologize for it. But LMJ, before you walked in, we just were talking about the fact that. You get like today your, your manager said today is a great result. Like you guys have lost, you have lost 14 games. But said today is a great result. Like it shows that you can match the best teams in Europe. The performance today can match the best teams in Europe. And I'm wondering oh, since oh. when did losing so, become a great result. So we carry the chapel. They say they wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, don't go, don't think. I know you have energy. Wait, first, wait, wait. I will give you the floor. Oh, you have lost 14 games. You finished bottom of your Champions League group. A group that had Copenhagen and um, Galatasaray with Bayern. You finished bottom. Not, you not 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 Even if you win on, on Wednesday against Newcastle, you will still be eight. You get. So, like, it, it has looked, like you said, it, is a, it has been a peaceful season. So, I'm going to put you on the spot now and say, ah, LMA Joe, you are the new sporting director of Man United. You are the one bringing leadership. Oh. Like, everything is in your hands. So, are you part of the camp that believes, oh, Ten Hag is about to cook? Like, Bolish, for example, now he believes, let Ten Hag cook. He has something that is boiling, let it cook. Or are you part of the camp that believes that, you know what, let Ten Hag go to hell. We are done whatever it is that is cooking. Like for your darling club, what is the way forward? I I, I, I feel I'm emotionally detached enough. No worry, come closer to the mic. Hey, Let's hey, hear you. Hey, when we are dragging body, I, I, I could think, hear you. Come I, I, I think I am emotionally detached enough to give a very um, plain verdict on this matter, and mm -hmm. it's, it's very obvious. Tenag mm -hmm. and Bolish are in the same WhatsApp group. You you, you can see you you can see you can see. You can see how passionate he is about any topic that has to do with you can my manager. Ten years for like five years. <laughs> we will so, not allow you to do that. <laughs> so, Ten has probably promised Bolish his daughter. So that is that is the only logical reason anybody, any single person will say hey, Ten for five years, Ten for APC, Ten for Ibo. That is the only logical reason. It has nothing to do with football. So it's very obvious that we've had a terrible season. It's very obvious that our performance tonight was shambolic, to say the least. It's, it's very obvious that the issues that has plighted the club is has affected the club to the very last grain of its foundations. So it's very obvious. So 
if I'm the sporting director of the club, I think what needs to be done is general overhauling of the club. Is the fact that I think throughout the first half we we didn't even register a shot on target, and to have that kind of display, and the manager should not come out and say this is a very good, like it's it is it, these things are not apples and oranges. Like it is just plain, it is just plain basic. Like anybody that started watching football yesterday knows that. Man, you know, on every standard. When was the last time Arsenal won it at Old Trafford? Like anybody on any standard, even the Moyes, I, I think even the Moyes did not lose in Old Trafford. So when you look at the build up in the game, when you look at um, the formation, when you look at the lack of a defined style, it's obvious that this is not even this is not even a performance that we should be talking about. So I feel. Tenag is delusional, like he has been, like Polish is, like you can see the pattern now. Like, like so he has he has always been consistent with this same trying to deflect the problem, trying to. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what the game is in particular. Now, back to the game. I, I felt like a a, a, a David Moyes. With his present pedigree and how and what he has done in West Ham, if he had handled today's game, he would probably have come defensive and hoped to it on the break and maybe focus more on set piece and something like that. But it was very obvious today that Tenak came to that game without a definite style, without a definite plan. And I don't want to interrupt you, but I don't want to focus too much on the game. You are sporting director now. Let's say, okay, Tehak is going to go. Casemiro is going to go. In short, Paul himself will go. Everybody goes. You get. <laughs> so now, yes, if they came to... Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, you are the sporting director now. Tehak goes, everybody goes. Like, you have to give me a definite answer now that, okay, who is your manager? Who do you go out there and bring in and say, okay, this is the guy that I believe would, in the next three years or so, would build something that would compete or sadly something else. sadly if i'm the sporting director, there's nobody. wait wait sadly if i'm okay. the sporting director the mm -hmm. person i'll go for is Thiago Mota. Okay. and it it's it's kind of a a dicey situation now because Thiago Mota is adding to juventus so mm -hmm. but if i was somebody i would if i was the sporting director i'll bring somebody like the Thiago Mota and tamper down the expectation. You know, with someone like Thiago Mota, with the likes of Casemiro gone, starting with teenagers like Ahmad, like Ganacho, 19, 20, 21, and a little bit of infusion of experience. Now, hmm. we can now, we can now start the rebuilding process, such that if, hmm. you, if you watch, if you look, I said Drive to Survive, what was the name of this um, documentary that featured Arsenal at one point? At that point in Arsenal's transition, it was obvious that you know what we would not be doing, like we would not be challenging for trophies. Hmm. It's not like it's not like that. Would your not coach, be your coach era. Like we will not be challenging for trophies, but we'll be starting this rebuilding process. What is going to be the DNA of this club? What is going to be the mentality? What what is it, what is now going to be our motto stepping forward now? So I, I feel like someone like Thiago Mota embodies what I but, can so, trace so, as in sorry, sorry again let me Thiago is not available now Thiago Mota is not available we just agree that he's going to Juventus Juventus have um, beat a lot of clubs to Thiago Mota signing like you also have a rub Juventus knee exactly <laughs> so you have to get the manager I, I think I think if we have been fair I've said this before mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. if you want to undertake this particular project the kind mm -hmm. of manager that is good for this particular project is not available. I'm already said he's not leaving Sporting. Okay, like, and and it, it does only sound like wait, wait. Eleven does not have the answer. Eleven does not have the answer. I will give you the answer. The fact you missed that. The fact you missed that. There's no manager. You cannot because you cannot because wait, wait, wait. You cannot because go wrong. Eleven, you are the Sporting director. I don't want to hear. Um, this guy said he's going to go to the moon. That guy said he's going to travel to this sp to space. German wait, slow down. Their managers are not they have not promised anybody anything. Amorim said he wants to stay. Yeah, fine. Their managers across Europe, across globe. Give now, me a manager. Now, now. 
Now, we're not safe. Now, we're not safe. They go big ten. Like, they don't bring a night off it. We're hey, not safe. We're 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 See, it does not work that way. It and does not work that way. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll ask how it works later. You don't want to do it by sporting director. Polish, you are the sporting director of Manchester uh -huh. United. No. Can I ask sporting director? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We need to understand we, we, quickly so that we don't, we don't want to waste time on a failing team. But quickly, if I'm going to, if I'm going to make a recommendation. failing team, let me <laughs> so I'm going to make. If I'm going to make a recommendation, I think the number one thing is, what I'm is your plan? I'm all these meme moments. I'm creating. I'm creating meme moments on this podcast. What? What? What is your squad looking like? I think that's the first thing you have to do a squad planning. If you, if your squad is still looking like what you have now, if you like bring Zidane, will not even come if your squad is looking like what you have now. Normally, the person I would have said, okay, first day of the um end of the season don't waste time till one week two like kunle said earlier that's i'm being serious now don't waste time till um beginning like two weeks to the season that I start making decisions first day or even now you should start conversations with someone like zidane and the conversation should go along the lines of we have a budget of 300 because obviously you guys have the funds we have a budget of 300 million we have some young buys guys on the squad we want to this is our plan this, this is what we plan to do this year, next year, going forward. We want you to work with us and then start sitting down, start mapping up. That's the only way United because if you do this big formula method where you you bring in Raf Ragnig, he say he was supposed to take over, he spent six months, he leaves, uh Taya comes, he brought one person, he said they cannot work with this person. If you do that method again, you continue to have this problem. But if there's a that, like a more uniform a, a approach that okay. Zidane, it doesn't even have to be the best of the best. So just someone that is going to be in one voice and has a proven ideology of how we set up your team. Because you cannot come to United and you will spend two years and, or two and a half years and nobody knows what you are trying to do. At least the first six months, there should be a clear sign of this is how they want to play. They might not execute it every time. They might not, you might not, they might not win every time, but you can see the same thing with even at that time. Yes, he has not won the league yet, but you could see from like the first six months that this is how he wants to play and he started bringing in players to execute some of the things he's trying to do so you need to first have that conversation decide one person but me oh if you ask my personal personal opinion my own personal opinion not a uh, consensus my personal opinion i think they can do the job <laughs> you don't need to give him you know you cannot, you cannot have a cook without ingredients you cannot just cook the love. You're not giving rice. You're not giving there, magic. There, there, there's there's one person that is also available that we are not talking wait, about. Wait, oh. wait, I can, I can there's one person that we are not talking about. There's one person we are, talk, we are not talking about. Now, wait, before you get to that person, you have to give him rice. Eh? You got you cannot cook the love without without rice. Rice is number one important. First, give him rice. First. Don't close your video. I want to see your face. You have to give him rice. I can, you can go ahead. Wait, I can, I can, before you mention who's available um we'll probably run through this as fast as possible um i, I know you saw ateta do this when he came in in late 2019 and stuff like that like he worked with players like a, an 18 year old bukayo saka Holding, and there were players that you were wondering okay they probably won't be here for long but you could see what ateta was trying to do, like bullish mention so let's let's take your experience from us now i came to my united you're the sporting director now who is the manager for you ah there's a saying you, but not see what you actually law and you actually bad as Let them go back to David Moyes. I'm on love it. He's <laughs> and he has a proving record. Ah, look at West Ham. <laughs> you, you, you know, I like as much as, like, as much as it sounds like a joke. <laughs> As much as, really it, as, as much as it sounds you like, you know, I like moments like this. <laughs> your time will come. No, I don't doubt my time will, will not come. In fact, my time has been coming, but it has been coming for me. So, happy new year. Happy new year. And your time will come. Happy new year. Happy new year. It, it doesn't matter anymore. But as much as that sounds funny, he's available. 
he has a proving record. In fact, the record is is he took he took his team to uh, Europe. Don't you want Europe? You want Europe? And <laughs> you want Europe competition? Don't you want that? <laughs> you want it in back of French league, I mean. you want, Exactly, he want it. And he has he, he has eyes he has eyes for he has eyes for 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 talent. He has eyes for talent. Not that forest. You are talking. Not that forest. Not that forest. He will he will take the job. Oh, you don't even have to ask him twice. He will take the job. Okay, but on the most serious note, on the most serious note. On the more serious are you going for David Moyes? I can your mic is off. Yes, sir. I, I backed it up with the Yoba saying Tiwa Job as a law. If France can go, you could go, you go back. All right. So, um, no problem. Moyes is unable to. I think it's only Kule's opinion that counts on this spot. You are Kule. listening, Rob. Kule, sporting director. Let's go. I, I think, um, first of all, as Bolly said, let us not pretend that we will not enjoy if Mourinho returns at Old Trafford. <laughs> it will be like uh, incredibly entertaining. <laughs> but on a on a properly more serious, I think United United first of all a need someone who can thrive in slightly chaotic situations and also who can lay the foundation for the future. Someone who comes and be like, oh yes. Okay, this manager is doing well, but we have a lot of problems. Okay, maybe it's time that you can't deny the problems anymore. So it feels like a left field option. But if I'm, if I'm going to mind the manager, um, something director, I will go for Vavadi for, for Bilbao. Like it's good enough to be like, oh yes, you can stabilize us. You can even finish fourth in one season, but you will still you will still be aware that there are problems in the team. So you need someone like that who thrives in who has tried in chaotic situations, but after two years. The, the board will know that we are start to get our shit together. So, like, that's I feel like that's the solution for United. That either that or those, those go for someone like Tuku as well, because they're kind of in the same mode. Where Rooney is available too, so. <laughs> um, um, when I heard the initially, when I heard the rumors that Where Rooney got in every combo. <laughs> when I heard the, when the rumors he... that, um, okay, obviously, Thomas Tuku is available. And there were reports that okay, um, Tukul is is an option. Is interested in the job, blah blah blah, and what have you. To buttress what everyone has pointed out on the most recent on this podcast, the reason why I felt okay, United going for Tukul is, is is another way of shooting themselves in the foot, like they normally do, whereby they go for the best manager on paper or the one that has won something and they feel like oh, they need to win something, so let's go and get Tukul. It's obvious that my United needs to undergo a massive overhaul and a massive rebuild at least over the next three years. They need to be rebuilding and they need to have a direction, like Bolish said, about what kind of club are we going to become? What kind of style of play do we want to have? And who are we going to our points? So, LMIJ, whether you like it or not, I feel like on a more serious note, my United options are a bit limited and limited to the sense that if they, if they decide to get, get rid of Ten Hag, you're going, going to need to have a meeting with Gareth Southgate, Graham Potter, and Roberto De Zerbi. Because too cool is the kind of manager that wins. You, you are trying to rebuild. It's, it doesn't go well. Oh, we want to rebuild, but you are bringing in a manager that wants to win. You can't bring in Mourinho too. He wants to win. You are trying to rebuild. People like Graham Potter who have who did miracles where there was no pressure, like with Brighton and stuff like that, and the ZBU has shown that he can improve young players, are your best options in terms of, okay, we are trying to rebuild. Somebody needs to take us somewhere. You might not win, but you need to go somewhere. And... <laughs> Um, Bullish mentioned Zidane. Zidane is not going to take the job. Um, Kule mentioned for Vardy. For Vardy, yeah, Vardy, Vardy, all of us, we are just going to lie to Wale to be lying to people that are listening to us. Are we, are we, are we, are we, I was about to say that, like, Wale, I, I are you kidding me, Grand Potter? Grand Potter went to Chelsea for Grand Potter went to Chelsea for Grand Potter went to Chelsea for Grand Potter went to Wale, 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 because what I was saying, David Moyes, what I was saying, David Moyes, eh? I you tell me, Grandpa, you said, 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 you said
but there's levels to lie. There's levels to lie. Please. <laughs> Wale, please. 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 You know, you don't rate our our You don't rate anybody. Why? Let's be serious. You can't tell us serious. They comfortably slowly start telling us all those names you mentioned. Please let's move to another topic. I saw. I like the fact that everybody waited for him because we don't we didn't want to interrupt him. But I like the fact that we are coming for him. Like let's be serious. You know, I mentioned there's no top manager in Europe. There's no top manager in Europe that wants the job. So at some point, you have to take your poison and say, okay, if you start, no, I don't believe I don't believe So, I don't believe I don't believe I think I think we should move on for this talk, but before we move on, in all seriousness, I believe that every top every top manager, yes, the the this whole thing looks chaotic. But one of the first things they've done is they employed someone who is the CEO now, who is supposed to be the top. If the CEO has a plan, drafted a plan. Okay, this is how we are going to attack the transfer market. This is our plan. These are the kind of players we are looking at. These are all the scouts are put together and they go and meet a quality manager. Is Manchester United. If the, there's a there's a semblance of a plan, no matter how wait, 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 no matter how crazy it looks, the opportunity to get Manchester United to the Ooh. next level is attractive for many people. Okay, it, I the the plan, the budget to acquire talent. I agree. Who? Ah, Zidane. Zidane will do it. Zidane will do it. Okay, Zidane will not take the job. Let's be. Zidane will not. Okay, who will do it? See, I get what you're saying. What you're saying is logical and it makes sense that if there's a plan, the CEO, the new CEO, let's plan this. Blah blah blah. At some point, then you need to face the reality of look. When Arsenal went to appoint Ateta, it's not like people were running over themselves to get the job. People were not climbing over themselves to get get the job as well. They decided that's my point. You see all these damn Chief uh, sporting director, all this uh, fantasy sporting director, do, is rubbish. Is rubbish. No, they, okay. Next topic. Next topic. Okay, <laughs> even you even you like, don't like, no mention the sporting director. Uh, you know, next, topic. Ah. next topic. Next topic. This is where you know the truth of that. that, that <laughs> no, because somebody is going discuss it. My, my my Yoruba <laughs> proverb <laughs> CEO. Okay, it's 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 not, not, not like this. Oh, Go backward is as simple as that. Go backward. You cannot you can go, go backward. Back. You can go back to Mourinho now. You can go back to ah. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, Mourinho makes sense. Sure. For the sake of drama in Premier League, we need Mourinho in the Premier League. For the sake of press conferences and drama, do you get? Yes. I even want you to go back again. You know, 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 I can log in and take up this monitor and I'll lock everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> Bright reminds me of that ball. The one we're small. When we're small, that 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 ball to ball. That says uh, you don't beat me. You know the ball we put is ball. And you say it's going on. It's going on. If you don't put him in the squad, sorry, sorry. Let's move on. Let's move on. But when you were doing, before I move on, when you were doing the bullish, you were enjoying the two. Now they are doing their own. See, no, no. This one, this one is now. Ele, you probably say what the crew need. The they are uh, so I think they commit atrocities. Thirty-two, eleven, first quarter. Um, but she's talking about the NBA playoffs. I feel like before we move on from the sports section of this, we just need to run through the playoffs because, um, Akin, we know that the Denver Nuggets what they did to God. I don't want to say this again, but what they did to Lemonjes Lakers is not a where is it running to again. <laughs> what they did to them against Lakers, he has been receiving it back to back. Is this big because of Adam Madrid? Is that what they did? Is that is that the origin of this? Can oh, oh, we talk about the topic? What's your problem? He's been, he's been collecting back to back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what did the Denver Nuggets do to them against Lakers? After what they did, we all felt like, oh my god, no other team can match them in the Western Conference, blah blah blah, and what have you. But so far, we've seen the Tibaos show up and be like, mm, why not the Lakers? Who? We don't we don't play my my basketball here. We beat people up. Yes, the Nuggets won game three and the series is basically still on. But so far, like what we've seen in this series, the Timberwolves have shown that we're not, we're not only young, we're young and we're good enough to get it done. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, it's disappointing. Let me use that word because I had my money on Lakers because of one thing. Actually, I felt like the Nuggets. Were Why? 
No, no, I felt the Nuggets were no really. I, I know I, I had them to win at least one game. That's what I said in the last episode, to be honest, because it was looking like it was gonna be a sweep, and that was what I was against. Like ah, there've been times in the in 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 some games whereby they were they were close, le- like no doubt, but one way or the other, just messed up. So I had them to like win one game because I felt like you know what the Nuggets were vulnerable, and that you are seeing against the Timberwolves. Like one sweep, one sweep by last year. Also, you wear glasses. Although you are, all this what you are saying is Kalu Kalu. No, 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 no. Wait, ka, it's not Kalu Kalu. You know, you know for a fact. I'm not you. a Lakers fan. They sweep you. They sweep Lakers. During I'm the not season. a Lakers fan. You making it sound like I'm a Lakers fan. Calm down. Calm down. Which, I need to know. You said they sweep you. I'm not a Lakers fan. Calm down. Let's get that. What are you doing for? What are you doing in the playoffs? We are, are for, we are not even in the playoffs. Our, uh, oh, he's coming for me. And we are, our we are, team is not even in the playoffs. You are, you are, you are, you are we not don't complain. No problem. No, you are not we, are we are not there. No, exactly. We are there. People that were there. Okay, you say you, you do a giddy. You enter school bus. You say you are going for spelling B. They say don't go, don't go. You say you are going for spelling B. You read spelling B. They say spell letter H. You cannot spell. Spell table. You cannot spell. Spell igu. You cannot spell. You read. You not say one word. Okay, who is that we stay at home? I will not go for spelling B. I need to go for spelling B. I like, cannot say one word. What is the difference? <laughs> no, no, Bolish, Bolish, let's at, get one thing straight. At least, do you know? At least, at least, <laughs> at least, at least, they say, at least, they say, at least, they say, I'm top 80 in the class. Oh, well, at least, Brian, 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 you are, you are receiving from every angle. <laughs> because they say, ah, my love, my love, they say, ah, I want to fight. They say, don't go, they say, you want to fight. Only a Mr. Bond. 30 seconds. I mean, 15 seconds. They give you one. Who? You go. He say, uh, they say, don't go. He say, you want to go. And see, please, let's analyze. Forget Lakers. We are not talking about Lakers here. They are no, out no, of no, the no, no, we're not talking about Lakers. <laughs> you know your teams are great. When, when you are not even that... They're not performing well. Okay, and everybody wants to spend 30 minutes talking about They will not even allow Lakers in Cancun. People are going to Galveston, Texas. It's like water, water, water. There, there's no Cancun and beach and poolside for you for your team. It's Galveston, Texas. Texas inside like flood. That's where they are sending your team to. So forget about Lakers. Let's talk about people. I want to show you people that are there, that are in the game, that are, that are still spelling the words, that are still spelling uh, encyclopedia and all those long, long words. Please let's talk about them. Like OKC, okay, like Dallas, you know, like no, 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 no. <laughs> let, 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 let me like Denver, like Kings. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> And the quality teams. <laughs> so just to round up, I mean, I just wanted to say, like, okay, I mean, at least for a fact now, we can see that the Nuggets team are actually vulnerable. So with the approach that the Timberwolves have actually been, I mean, using great defense and um, three separate big men on, uh, is it big man? Yeah, on uh, Jokic. So the plan is there. Hopefully they get it done because they're, they're a very incredible team. To be honest, they're a very incredible team in this in this run. Yeah. So you're saying that with the way the series is positioned now, you expect the Timberwolves to go past the Denver Nuggets? I, I want them to, but it's so hard to actually take up the defending champion at times. I mean, there's a reason why they are. So it's so I'm I'm also very uh what's the word? Uh realistic at the same time, too, because like Bolly said, these are a young uh, team, and I mean they're still finding their feet in this like playoff run. So it, it's crazy. I mean, the only reason why people felt like, you know what, uh, that, 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 that a big shot right now is because of just one person and the, the way he has been turning up. And we see what happened when he didn't turn up in the game or what's it called, in the, in the third game. Like the whole team just fumbled. Like everybody didn't, didn't even play a, 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 as well. So it just takes, it just goes to show like they need to get to a point whereby they, they, they you, you can have the rest of the players also like, you know what? You know what? If, even if uh, Edwards is down or is not putting up the numbers, we can also do our own beats and come up with a win. With a win. So yeah, that's that's what I think. Uh, Polish. I can just mention game three now of that series because obviously the Timberwolves were outstanding in the first two games, and according to Akin's points, the Timberwolves can only go as far as Anthony Edwards takes them because we we saw him he struggled in the third game. Jamamure came out to play. Um, Jokic, Jokic's powers has been limited in this series. Like for some reason, Chris Finch and um, the rest of the coaching crew have found something that works so far against the big Serbian. But 
Edwards couldn't get it going. Cantonet Towns refused to go into the paint. Was trying to prove, okay, I'm still the big best shooting big man in the history of basketball, like he likes to claim. And f in all honesty, like fair point to him. Anthony Edwards came out after the game and said, Oh, I didn't do well, I didn't play well. I, I have to do better. If I if we're going to win this, I have to play much, much better. And as much as Akin wants to say, okay, the, the rest of the team has to turn up and show up, there's a reason why they're calling him face of the league. He needs to come out in game four, like a house on fire and show that, okay, you know what? I am that guy and I can lead this team. Forget forget my age, forget my experience in the league. Forget his father is my fourth year. I am the guy. So, uh, yeah, that I don't think that's why they lost too. I don't think that was the main problem why they lost. I think <clears throat> they were adjusting to um, Rudy Gobert coming back. The way they played, the intensity defensively. Because one thing they have that for example, Lakers don't have this. Apart from the big game. No, that, that see, what, what I'm trying to explain something. Yes, they had him in game one, but in the playoffs, when someone that plays 25, 30 minutes leaves the rotation and comes back, there's an adjustment. And if you watch that game three, by the by midway to the second quarter, the game was over because it was almost like they could not get a grip of what they were doing. Now, why why do I say that? Apart from the big men having Nasri, Rudy Gobeka to deal with, uh, what's it called, to deal with Jokic, one of the big, uh, things that they have now that probably Lakers do not have is when you have two guys that can pressure the ball, like uh, Jaden Daniels and uh, Alexander Walker, that can go toe to toe and stay with Jamal Murray and they are long, they are athletic and all that. But Jaden Daniels, for some reason, foul trouble all that in game three, they need to make sure that those two guys that are keeping the pressure on Jamal Murray are solid enough. Because if those guys continue to be solid, pick him up like four feet, continue to do what they did game one and game two, what now happens is that you are getting a situation whereby you are speeding up Denver. They were not able to speed up Denver in game three. Yes, Denver are defensive champions and Denver probably, probably found some adjustment and were able to know how to bring the ball up faster. Because if one game two, game one, it was a case of before they even got to half court, nine seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds was already gone most times. Then you have a uh, moment 16 seconds to start your offense. Then they are, you know, they are reaching for everything before you even they are even set. So it's a situation whereby if those guys play as they are capable of because defense is the defense can be replicated, offense can flicker from time to time. But if they play the kind of defense that they played. They can they can possibly go back to Denver up 3-1. I don't think it's more of Anthony Edwards going for 40 or 30. I think it's more of the defensive discipline they had in those first two games. Because you what those games. Yes, he scored 40, he scored 30 something. So, but the main thing, what, what is like most of the points, if you look at the way he scored those points, they're more of transition, okay, uh, in the spot, a shoot a uh, layup. Like it was not like it was going off like he did against the Suns. It was more of defense, you know, easier buckets in transition and stuff like that. So, if they can pick up their defense the way they had in game one, game two, then they can go back to Denver leading three one. I, I, I get what you're saying, but the reason I'm talking about um, Anthony Edwards and um, going as far as he goes in the senses, yes, defensive adjustment, trying to fit in Rudy Gobert into the rotation again after he was out uh, due to the birth of his first son, his first child. Sometimes. When, when you're getting so much pressure, basketball is a game of runs. The last thing you want to do is to be trailing your opponent by so much points. Like, sometimes you need confidence. Sometimes you need to be able to look at your best player. Okay, I'm struggling to get going. Everyone, everyone is struggling to get going. A, a, a crazy shot here and there, or five points from this guy, ten points from this guy, suddenly gives everybody... But, was, but they're not, they were not able to stop anyone. They were, it's not as if they... Yes, they, they, they are constantly in the fourth quarter. But that defense was the problem in that game three. They're not I'm able not, to stop I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that. Lay up, bucket. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure I'm, what I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not, So that's what I'm saying that. It didn't mess up defense. If, so, even if, even, so what I'm trying to say is that, yes, you need Kat to go into the paint. You need Antonio to put up big points. But the first thing, for you can't go with Denver with the mindset that, yeah, let's go 120-120. No. The first thing you have to pick up that your defense, that defensive intensity that work for you. That's the only way they are winning this series. If they go, if they are trying to, if they if they go back to 120, 120, and you leave you it to 
you allow, are you allow, no, let me let me explain what I mean. Are you allow Jamal Mure, Yokis to get a reading? They have so much experience in closing games that if you allow that kind of thing where you are going bucket for bucket, yes, Anthony Edwards is scoring, uh, Katz is scoring, you are not going to win this series. The only way is to disrupt, continue to disrupt, like you have to mock up the game. You have to make it so crazy that, you know, prison yard uh, basketball, uh, effectively. That's how they, I think they can, they can win, win this series. Regardless, um, they still need to get points from him one way or the other. And I don't think, I, I don't, and I don't think he's going to have a disappointing game for because so far he has shown that he has it. And who knows? He, he has something about him. Um, LMJ, before you say that we're talking about your teams again and you guys are the best since you slide, slide, you can't blame us. Do you understand? The numbers show that when we talk about Man U and the Lakers, the num- that's what the numbers are telling us. So don't let it get to your head that you are that special. It's just the teams that bring the numbers for us. That's why we focus on them. But away from the Lakers, I know I know we've mentioned on this podcast that the OKC, like the Thunder, a young team, um, Shaky Jones, Alexander has done well, like, MVP conversation, they've they got to the playoffs, they won the Western Conference, whether it was by a game or not. But after after they swept the Pelicans who were without Zion, a lot of people were expecting, okay, they should do well against the Dallas Mavericks. They won the first game and it felt like, okay, yeah, this is it. But they've lost two now and you're wondering, okay, is the age of this team starting to show? Elemente, can you hear us? Guys, can you hear me? Could you move closer to your mic, please? Why is, why is Wiley freezing up? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I think um, you cannot take away the place of experience, especially when it comes to the postseason, because during, during the regular seasons, there there is like leeway to cover up for some lapses, but like we know, there are some players that they play their best basketball in the postseason. A very good example is Jamal uh, Murray. During the regular season, you would have seen him as like an average player. If you are rating him, he always falls within the 10, the 20th bracket. But in postseason, he ups his game. And I feel like that is what we've seen with the Dallas Maverick of late. The fact that Kyrie is starting to feel like the career of old. You know, and we have to be sincere that during during the regular season, there were a lot of times that Kyrie was not really available. There was the fast period. I know some people would like to talk down t- t- stuff like that. But if you've played sports at an elite level, you know that some of this factor into your performance some of these things would also affect you mentally, physically, importantly. So I feel like even when we want to talk about the OKC, we need to agree that the Dallas Mavericks are coming into their proper self now. And it's one of the reasons why we are seeing the level of basketball they are playing. Like, we should not take any props away from OKC. But at the same time, we should acknowledge the fact that the Dallas Mavericks are playing real ball when it matters the most. Um, Kule, I know you would root for OKC at the end of time. I don't know if you agree with LMH that it's a thing about Kyrie and Luka Doncic giving you guys the business or the young team is starting to run out of steam. I, I wouldn't say OKC is running out of steam because I think Brian, LMH's point is valid about Kyrie and Luka Doncic giving, like basically giving the um, OKC team a run for that money and also if you saw a lot of game three, a lot of game three was very, very physical. Because like, and it's, I think it's something you consider like a reality for both sides. Because as Boris, as Brett mentioned, the, uh, Mavis are coming into their own. And in that game three, they left, they left it all on the line. Because after the game, players were asked like, uh, players like Dunkit and Derek Lively were asked, where, like, where does it hurt the most? And they were like everywhere. Because like they gave it everything. They threw everything on the, on the table. So, I think it speaks to the fact that this is what they are, and also this is what they can do. 
M. What we, all, we all know who that is. <laughs> but but I am not starting No, Kule, I'm very sorry. Please continue. <laughs> But I'm the one talking about my you. Go on. <laughs> no, I could not. I could not stop myself. I'm sorry. I could not stop myself. I don't. Know, I don't. Know, my final note on this is this. I mean, there were some places where okay, she made some naive like, decisions. Like five, like the like the in their head, they were like, oh yes, um, for Lolica is just foul directly for uh, in, during the fourth quarter and, and later on, and then lively lively actually made those few throws which is almost out of character. But it still feels like a lot of OKC's like game management and the rest of it still needs work. But honestly, it was quite, basically it was quite evenly matched. It's just that the, a lot of the intangibles, and the Mavericks have that with Kyrie, with Dontich especially. So I don't think, as, as Bright said, they are, they are slightly like a, a better team, like maybe say ten percent, but that ten percent is still quite visible. So, if I'm quickly going to add to this uh, conversation, I don't think, from my end, I don't even think it's a function of Kyrie and Luca because Kyrie and Luca will know what they, those two guys will do. Those two guys are killers. But I think the difference is, from my thinking, I don't think OKC's management team thought that this year they were going to win the championship. Let I me tell you why I think so. There's no to get this far this year. Because why I say so, say so is that OKC has about maybe 11 or 12 first round picks for the next seven or eight seven years. Seven years, yeah. And everybody knows that number one thing that you guys are lacking is size up front. You guys have this match, and uh, what was it called? And uh, what was his name? And Chetum Greg. That that Gafford was available. You guys not go to get him. PJ Washington, Washington that is scoring 29, averaging 25, 27 points against you guys. He was available. You guys, you know, yeah, let's say you don't even need PJ Washington because you have Jalen Williams, you have so, but someone like Daniel Gafford, like there was no at the deadline, there was no movement or addition or piece that you see that okay, this is what the team needs to kind of just up all these young guys and take us to the next level that was not done so i feel like in their head and the difference to be honest because since dallas acquired pj washington daniel gafford and the, during the trade deadline they've had the best defense in the nba their defensive record they've had the best defensive record in the nba since that since that time and if you look at the way they beat the clippers is with derrick jones pj washington defending at the high level that and therefore defending the paint at the high level. The same thing with this series is PJ Washington, Derrick Jones, strike for stride, defending at the high level. Luca and Kyrie can go for 30, 20, 40, 50, and all that stuff. But if you don't have those guys slowing down someone like SGA, SGA can score 50 if you if you if you don't if you don't defend him, if you don't make him work for it. So, but because they have those guys that can okay, Derrick Jones, so yeah. Another 10 minutes. So, yeah, uh, PG Washington. If they didn't have those bodies, I don't think this series will have been close. But I think the series will still go seven games. And once it goes seven games, anything can happen in the seventh game. So, yeah, I think it's still a tough I, 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 I think OKC at this point, I think OKC at this point feel like they've overachieved themselves. So, I understand, your, I understand your point that, okay, they didn't make some trades that could have made them better. But I feel like at this point, they are like, okay, at the... At, at our present position, we are like we are punching above our weight. Like considering that this game might go to game seven, for me, I think they've done absolutely well this season, and they can always so, build on what. They want. Let Let me tell you why that is tricky. Wait, let me tell you. I, sorry, no, sorry. I'm saying, uh, 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 I'm saying it for yeah, me. No, let me, yeah, no. Yes. Let me tell you why that is tricky. It's not every season that you go into a possibility that the defending champion like Denver will be out. Um, what's it called? And you might play someone like Minnesota who are there for the first time. Who two, who two can be star struck or who two can not be as assured as let's say in the past where you have someone like Golden State or Denver or a juggernaut. And yes, what if we don't pray for injury for anybody? But if she has an injury this season, then you have to wait, rehabilitate, 
maybe you finish tenth, you come back next year. Before you you would never can tell your window. Milwaukee won the NBA championship in 2021 when they brought in Joe Holiday. What happens since then? They've been out of the first round twice uh, after that. And you, you understand that and Joe Holiday has left. They brought in Dean. He was injured. This is like once you have a squad, especially when when as at February you are getting to playoff period, you look like a convincing squad. You have some pieces that make sense. If there's something that you can add that can help you quickly steal one ring, you take it. You can't say because you, you are not. Yes, no one expected them coming to the season. No one even thought they would even make the playoffs. Or no one expected them to now go all the way to be the number one seed. But now we see that, okay, you are a good team. Number one seed. Okay. And at the trade deadline with all the assets you have, there's no reason why you are sitting on the fence and not trying to pick up one or two that can decide your series for you. Because those are the things that the, in the playoffs, when yesterday's game was just a four-point game. And before Kyrie made that uh, hook shot, it was a three-point game. So those extra pieces that you bring in, that big man that will block two shots, that's four points that he has uh, stopped. Like, so I think that they should have, they should have at least, you know, my NBA is crazy. You, you can think maybe, ah, there's a period, there's a time and whatever. What if, Next year, they have to pay Jalen Williams. You have to, Josh Giddy will be up for a contract. Uh, Cheton Gray will be up for a contract in two years. And you've paid SGA the Supermax. You can't pay everybody. So, what happens? You're, some of your talented players that make your roster very good now have to leave. Someone like Goldie says that they have old people all over. They can look at Clay and say, Clay, thank you for your service. Jalen Williams, how far? Let us give you the 40 million instead of Clay. You understand how those kind of things can come up at any time. So, when you have a I mean, I'm just, I'm, in my in my head, that's what I feel like. The um stop. All this you are saying, they might still go all the way to the conference final, and you know when you get to conference final, it's gonna happen. But I feel like they should have done better. I feel, like, I feel like you guys are buttressing my point. Like bullish, I, I don't even want to focus on the trade now. Daniel Garford or no Daniel Garford, PJ Washington or no PJ Washington, that opportunity has gone. But you are in the Western Conference semis now. You've won the first game. You've lost two. Whether you're a young team or not, you need to be able to look at yourself and say, okay. Yes, people on the outside believe that we've overachieved, but to us, we believe that we can do this and we can still go further. Like, how do we continue to improve? So, I don't think you should look at it and like if the players are having the mindset of, oh, yeah, we've overachieved, if we go out, we're fine. Mm -mm. Like, Polish mentioned opportunities. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying they should be fine with I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not, that, that is some dope aspire to Maguire. Shit. <laughs> like, one um, bullish mentioned opportunities, one bounce of the ball here or not. Like KD. Uh, why are you why are you muting your mic now? A mistake, sorry. I said KD's KD's toe is the reason why Yanis and Co won the championship. Because if his toe was not on the line, that shot was a three-point shot, and they were, they were out already. That was the end of the series. Brooklyn had gone to the Easter Conference. Um, finals so that, that like you have these instances whereby you have to if the ball falls in your court you have to make the most of it and i feel like okay the thunder yes trade or not that's that's passed they have to find a way to make the most out of this series whether it's coaching adjustments players playing better finding a way to limit Kyrie and um, luca are basically unstoppable once it's crunch time but the last thing you want is pj washington going for 27 or Derek jones or uh, that the action coming up of the bench and scoring 12, 15 points. You don't need those kind of numbers at all. You have to find a way to take those numbers away from them. Um, at, at this point, I think we can call the first part of our episode a good night. We've had the first good first part. We have other topics to jump into that form another part of the episode. I think at this point, Kole has decided he wants to honorably leave us because of his busy schedule. I hope I'm not mistaken, Kole. Um, sadly, you are not. All right. So, um, Kule, until next week again, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. And once again, if I go, just keep in mind, uh, we want Murillo. We want Murillo. <laughs> Old Trafford, Eddie, don't do it alone. One more season, Jose Murillo. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>